Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm not your usual host today. My name is Delonda Coleman, and I'm with the link, uh, excuse me, Skype for Business product marketing team. And today we are, it's spring break. And so Sean is enjoying a much needed vacation with his family. And so you have me today. So typically, or actually last December, Jamie and I did a show on Cloud PBX and PSTN Calling, and we had some technical difficulties with the show, so we didn't post it. So we're back again, and we wanted to kind of give you some more information on Modern Voice and Office 365. So today we're going to do something a little different. Two weeks ago at Enterprise Connect, we taped, um, or we actually recorded one of our sessions at Enterprise Connect, where Jamie and I talked about about cloud, the new Cloud PBX features, and I talked about PST and calling. We have lots of new features since December, so this is really relevant information. We've announced an auto attendant and cloud, P, um, excuse me, and our uh, new features in the Cloud PBX, and we also announced preview in two new countries, the Netherlands and Ireland. So we do have some updates. So, but we wanted to ground you in the fundamentals and share this session with us since you didn't get to see the recording from us in back in December. We're also going to be doing live Q&A. So if you have any questions on any of the things that you see in the video, make sure you type them in the Bing Pulse. We set up a Bing Pulse so that you can put in all your questions, and we'll be sure to answer it. After the recording, it's really quick, I'll come back and I'll answer the questions live. So um, with that being said, let's cut to the video with Modern Voice. You know, out here at the, uh, the Enterprise Connect booth, uh, essentially, we're doing presentations the entire time that we're here at Enterprise Connect, talking about everything from voice to meetings to Teams to how to get successful with Microsoft and Office 365. And so, uh, I have the pleasure of, uh, of kicking this off a little bit, and we will use this instead of the clicker. Um, what I want to start off with a little bit is just a little bit of information about what Cloud PBX in, in, in Office 365 is and what that means. And essentially, it's two different components. It's a component for end users to be able to get all the call control and all the great capabilities that end users need to be able to manage their calls, to be able to have calling from all their different devices, and to be able to do all the things that they're used to doing with a traditional PBX system. That is always fundamentally up in the cloud, as is the manageability and the control capabilities of Office 365 as well that have been expanded to include policy and administration for Cloud PBX. So what that means is you have all the capabilities for being able to manage users and their call control along with their messaging and their collaboration services, all part of Office 365. So fundamentally, you don't need to have anything operating out of your premises because Microsoft out of Office 365 can provide that call control capability, can provide end user services, can provide the, the functionality to be able to administer and policy and manage all of these capabilities. And you don't have to have any, any, any facility operating out on-prem. And the, the amount of capabilities that we have in Cloud PBX really is extensive. And so this goes all the way from kind of basics of being able to make calls on my mobile device, make calls on my tablet, being able to use my workstation. Here it shows like Enterprise Connect to be able to be able to operate phone calls. In addition to being able to have um, IP phone instruments that sit on the desk, be able to have attendant consoles. And then in addition, being able to have really robust services operating in the back end for managing media. Things like being able to have an automated attendant, so a, a system that can answer a phone call, can use text-to-speech and speech recognition to be able to inquire about what, uh, well, where a customer needs to go or a caller needs to go in the organization and transferring that call appropriately. Things like call queuing and routing to be able to have a whole bunch of individuals all set up against a call queue and being able to receive calls directly from the directly from callers using exclusively, again, in Office 365 and Skype for Business. It's really, really exciting. We're demoing all of these capabilities here in the booth, and there's just there's a tremendous amount available. Specifically, those two auto attendant and call queue capabilities 
are two things that we're announcing here at Enterprise Connect and that we'll be showing even further in the keynote that Ron Markovich is doing on Wednesday at 10 a.m. And for the folks that are watching online as well, we'll be broadcasting that online at aka.ms slash EC live. Now I talked about how you can have capabilities all operating out of the cloud. And so again, that means that for users to be able to make calls and to be able to transfer calls and be able to use all of their different devices, in addition to IT being able to operate and manage and policy, all that capability, all that can, can come from the cloud. But what doesn't come with Cloud PBX by default is the way to connect out to the PSTN. Because a lot of times customers have an already an existing PSTN capability they want to take advantage of. So the way that we do that is with a capability that we call on-premises PSTN connectivity. And essentially what that means is we use software operating on-premises essentially as a gateway between your existing PSTN circuits and Office 365. Now those circuits could be connected to a gateway, they could be connected to a central border controller, they could be connected to your existing Cisco PBX or PBXs from a lot of other vendors. And then that connectivity, that software essentially manages that connectivity on the one hand, and then goes and connects up to Office 365 on the other hand. Now, if you already have Skype for Business or Link Server deployed on your premises, you can just take advantage of that software today. That's something that you can just you just set up and configure and have that operate for Office 365 straight away. That just works. If you don't have Skype for Business or Link Server on premises today, then you can download a really simple set of software that we call Cloud Connector Edition. And what Cloud Connector Edition does is it takes all the complexity of the Skype server software and it slims it down into four packaged virtual machines that you get up and running on your premises and act as that gateway function. But honestly, a lot of customers are really interested in the PSTN calling add-on. So the idea here is that Microsoft can actually act as your carrier. Microsoft can act as your telephony service provider. And that functionality is also something that we're offering as a part of Office 365. Now these two options, you can operate within your environment simultaneously. Like it's not, a, it's not a case where you have to go all in one way or all in the other way. And we have a lot of customers who use their existing telephony capabilities for a period of time and then slowly add on the PSTN calling capabilities as they need or as they feel comfortable in transitioning onto the Microsoft service. And so there's a lot more to talk about with the PSTN calling capability. And that's why I want to bring on my colleague, Delanda. And Delanda is going to go through and talk about all the good stuff that we've been doing with respect to PSTN calling. Delanda. Thank you. So if you are interested in Cloud PBX and you deployed Cloud PBX on, on Prem and you want to go the extra mile and have Microsoft be your telephony provider, we can actually not only provide you the call management features in Cloud PBX, but also the termination and the, uh, the carrier services as part of our PSTN calling plans in the cloud. So if you're a startup and you're starting new and you're just bringing up an organization, there's no need to kind of work with a vendor to set up your phone system on premises or in your office. They don't have to come in and lay, wi lay wires down. You can actually, through the Office 365 portal, set up your users and automatically provision them a phone within minutes. So specifically about our calling plans, what exactly is it? We are an interconnected uh, voice over IP service provider. So that means we provide minutes, so inbound and outbound calling for each of your users that you set up. So we have a diversity of uh, calling plans available to you. We also offer toll-free number support. So if you want 1-800 numbers to, for your call queues or for your auto attendant, you can set up a toll-free number automatically and so your customers don't have to bear the cost of calling you. And we also provide, uh, provide number porting. So if you're an existing uh, company and you already have numbers within your organization, we will work with your carrier to port those numbers into the Microsoft service. We, uh, in the US, we offer a white glove service 
or excuse me, in the U.S. and other countries who offer a white gun service. So we have dedicated support staff that will actually walk you through step by step with your carrier to get your number supported and accurately. And finally, we have uh, emergency calling. So if if your uh, users dial 911 or the local uh, emergency call service in in the regions in where we provide it, we're able to route you to the appropriate emergency response system. So everything we have business ready features that you need as an organization to get up and running and have to let me include it. In terms of where this is available, this is available currently in uh, GA in five countries. That includes the United States, the UK. Puerto Rico, Spain, and France. And uh, just last week, we uh, launched uh, Netherlands and Ireland. And so those are the countries that, and if you go to skypreview.com, if you're with your existing Office 365 tenant, you can actually try the preview countries. Um, any, in, in any of those countries that you choose, you'll be able to uh, call out to 196 countries worldwide, globally, and that number continues to grow as we uh, meet the local requirements in that region. In terms of the calling plans, I'll go a little bit deeper into the calling plans. So Jamie talked about Office 365 and Cloud PBX. You get that with your E5 subscription. And then as an add-on, you can get uh, any of our flexible calling plans. There's two types of calling plans, domestic only, and that allows you to make calls within any of the five countries that I talked about. Uh, and uh, up to in the U.S. as an example today, that allows you to make 3,000 minutes per user uh, per month. So, uh, so just multiply that. If you have a 10 office firm, you can multiply that by 3,000. If you have 30,000 uh, person firm, multiply that by uh, 30,000. And so, and the minutes are pooled, and so all your users in that organization get to share those pools of minutes. The second thing that we have is international calling plans. So this enables your users to call internationally. Um, and so we offer that for 600 minutes per user per month. Those minutes, again, are also pooled and allows you to share those minutes amongst the users. So if you have some users that use less minutes and some users that use more, those usually balance out. Uh, those calling plans can also be purchased together. So you can have some users specifically for domestic calling only and where you might have your sales folks or folks that travel internationally or have more access to international folks be able to call internationally. Lastly, I want to talk about PSTN consumption. So that is for 1-800 numbers or for over it. And so we do have a plan where you, if you go over the 3,000 minutes, it then flips to a per minute per rate. And consumption billing allows you to do that. Or if you want 1-800 numbers, so those service numbers that I talked about earlier, those are also available on a per minute basis. And by, by setting up PSTN consumption, you can make that happen. So with PSTN consumption, you can um, buy a block of minutes or whatever, uh, or a, blo a block of dollars that's more appropriate for your organization. You can also set reoccurring billing up. So once you reach a certain floor, you can top up and buy more minutes as necessary. So again, it's a really flexible way. You can mix and match the calling plans. You can buy additional minutes to handle overage and 1-800 uh, numbers. The last thing that I want to talk about is the availability across devices. So we obviously make this functionality, what makes this so great is that we make this functionality available across all the different platforms that you might use in your organization. So if you have IP-based phones, they work with IP-based phones. They also work with the Skype room systems. If you're interested in looking at our Skype room systems, we have rooms and demos. We're also going to demo it on stage at the uh, at the keynote. So again, for those of you who are watching online, make sure you tune into EC Live, uh, aka.ms EC Live, to actually see a demo of Skype room systems. It's also available on the Mac client and uh, the iOS, so for your telephone. So if you want to be able to do that. And lastly, it's also clearly available on our rich Mac clients, uh, or excuse me, Windows clients on the Windows desktop. So the basics of this is now you can really untether your phone system from your office and physically being tied to your office to now being able to be anywhere that you have internet access on any device that you have being able to connect. So with that, I think we have about two minutes left. Uh, if there's any questions, let us know. That was an introductory to our modern voice with uh, in Office 365. We actually have five minutes. <laughs> Any questions?
Yes. What is your domestic plan cost per user in the U.S.? So the question is, what is our domestic co plan cost per user in the U.S.? It costs twelve dollars per user per month in the U.S. And that is also the same for uh, any of the. Um, it's roughly about the same for international plans as well. Just based on the, the currency conversions. Cur there's currency conversions for are our international plans. taxes and fees that are additional? Are there taxes and fees included? It depends on where you buy the calling plan. So in the U.S., the taxes and fees are included. Um, and outside of the, the U.S., taxes, maybe additional charges that are charged on top of it. So again, we meet all the local regulatory tax and guidelines. So it depends on how a country's tax taxation works and that's how we calculate it. So we customize every ro every rollout of a modern voice deployment is customized to your region and location. That includes taxation, that includes configuration of the servers, and that includes mixing of the traffic. So we make sure before we roll out the service it's compliant. When do we think we'll get implementation in Asia? It's certainly something that we're looking forward, that we're looking towards. We're continuing to expand, but before we expand, we have to make sure that we meet those regulatory guidelines and do our due diligence. So, we do have a lot of customers in Asia, though, who are using the Cloud Connector Edition and their existing Skype deployments to be able to work with Cloud PBX. So, this is actually there's a significant body in Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Australia. Yeah. So that's, that's another so that we, we definitely want to get to Asia. Yeah. It's just a matter of us um, setting up the service and, and again, so that is why we're meeting up with Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for those that are joining on the uh, on our broadcast today. We thank you for joining us again. You can watch all our session on aka.ms slash EC Theater. And if you want to watch our keynote where you get to see all of this story come together in a cohesive story, you can watch us at aka.ms slash EC Live on Wednesday morning. So thank you, and we hope that you enjoyed the session. Okay. What did you guys think? I hope you liked it. So continue to. Um, Submit your feedback and Bing Pulse. And uh, right now we'll switch over to questions. We got some really good questions. And uh, similar to what was on the video, a lot of people have been asking, uh, when is my particular country going to be available? And we are, our plan is to be a global, uh, have this service available to customers globally. And so we continue, we're going to continue to see a drumbeat of rollout in countries. but. Before we make any specific announcement about a particular country, we want to make sure that we are compliant with all the local rules and regulations of that particular country. But if you do um, want a feature in your particular or, or want to benefit from Cloud PBX in a particular country, we do have the Cloud Connector Edition, which is available and is a and is a mechanism in for which you can continue to have a Cloud PBX in a local region where PSTN calling isn't available. So if you'd like more information about that, we can definitely put it in the Bing Pulse and we can definitely get some guest speakers to really talk about CCE and how you can have a hybrid deployment uh, with Cloud PBX. The other question that we got was around, um, how do I contact this white glove service? Well, first, if you have an account Microsoft rep, you can always contact your rep to get and initiate Fast Track services. So Fast Track is a service that helps you evaluate on board and quickly get onto Office 365 and Skype for Business. So we definitely encourage you to contact your account rep. If you don't have an account rep and you're in Office 365 or you don't meet with someone on a regular basis, you can log into the um, Office 365 portal and into the Skype for Business admin portal. And if you need some help with things like um, uh, number porting in the U.S., you can actually submit uh, for smaller number requests. We suggest that you just submit the request through the number the, through the portal. The portal will walk you through those steps. Uh, step by step on how to do that. Uh, and if it's a, a larger complex order, we'll actually get on the phone with you and help you through that process. And so we'll have someone assigned to you and work through. So just log into the portal and you can always submit a support request from there. Uh, another question that we got, let me scroll through the list here, is 
uh, how do I find out about broadcast? I thought I this was an interesting question, so I definitely want to show it. We do make announcements of our broadcast on Twitter. We make blog entries on the blog site. So um, stay connected with us on Twitter, and we'll definitely you'll definitely hear about announcements and uh, when we're going to go live. Let's see. We got some more questions here. Okay, so one of the questions is fast track migration service for enterprise customers on prem versus on the cloud. Um, how do I leverage those those services to get you know from one um, from one state on prem to now being in the cloud and can fast track fast track could definitely you help you map out your current environment and so a lot of this is around planning and how do I think about it you have to think about many aspects of how do you handle your Active Directory environment to how do you build your network to be prepared for the transition down to how do I onboard my users and so we use uh, um, the fast track team uses the Skype operations framework. Um, which you can learn about through the skypeoperationsframework.com and to learn more about that process and that so that whole methodology that we go through. The, all the resources are free and publicly available or you can uh, work with the fast track team to kind of help you plan and map out what those transitions could look like and so that you can quickly get on to the state your and desired state of being. Okay um, and advanced call analytics release date out of public preview. Um, it's one of the features that we are now have um, um, that we're still looking at. And so we're still looking for a, a date. We don't have a date yet to publicly announce, but certainly definitely we'll make sure that those features um, are announced and available as soon as they're ready. And uh, could we have a set an in-depth session on LBR, please? Uh, I don't know what LBR is specifically, but definitely, you know, keep posting your requests for sessions and we'll definitely take that back to the engineering team and come back to you with all the in-depth sessions that you desire and we'll definitely have them. And so just to kind of recap some of the key announcements that we made at Enterprise Connect, we announced that for Cloud PBX, we announced Cloud um, uh, uh, we announced uh, PSTN calling available for preview in both uh, Ireland and Germany. So if you want to check that out, you can, oh, not Germany, sorry, Ireland and the Netherlands. If you want to check that out, you can go to skypreview.com. If you're an existing Office 365 tenant and you have assigned users in that location and you want to try the preview out, the service is available there. Uh, for Cloud PBX, auto attendant and um, call queues were, have g day We announced that on stage at Enterprise Connect and uh, in our blog. So if you want to learn more about that, we have a blog that's specific to that. So with that being said, um, we'd like to thank you all for your questions and thank you for tuning in for this quick uh, show and, and, and uh, hope you like the new format. And uh, we'll see you back uh, in, uh, with our regular scheduled program in two weeks. So our next show will be April 28th. It'll be at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here. So definitely tune in. And also, if you missed the show, don't worry. We post all our episodes on YouTube, so you'll be able to see the show on YouTube. Uh, you can also check us out at uh, all the previous casts at uh, 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 at aka.ms, a uh, Skype for Business uh, uh, pass or cast pass. <laughs> Anything else, follow us on Twitter if you want to learn more about the show, and uh, thanks for tuning in.